Okay, I'm ready now. Should I mute myself? You can mute me, right? I'm going to mute you. All okay, day. good. I'm just going to read this while we, while we wait. Okay. Welcome to Secular Soup. Stay tuned for real talk about atheism, feminism, politics, parenting, and whatever the fuck else Amy and Amy want to talk about, because this is their show. And get ready for a whole lot of motherfucking profanity. You want to hear a secret? Uh, I couldn't. I won't tell I anybody. Couldn't. Go ahead. If I sit next to you, I'm going to get gonorrhea. It's going to jump <laughs> into me. Just two ladies hanging out. Is it okay for me to make fun of his neck waddle if I make fun of my own neck waddle? I'm not sure. That's a real ethical conundrum. Would you know if you were born a lizard person or can you be like adopted into- I think you know. We're such professionals. We really are. Buckle up, bitches. It's time to have some soup. I'm Amy with a Y. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm Amy with a Y. And Amy with an I'm I I'm Amy is still with an muted. I and I was still muted. I unmuted you. We're still trying to you figure this shit me. out. I'm working on it. It's I fine. should rephrase. Amy's still trying to figure shit out. Um, I, I, I'm not good at like the fading down because I start slowly and yeah. then I'm like, done. <laughs> like I'm trying to figure out a slowly. Transition. Yeah, I saw my mic become unmuted and I'm like, should I say well, it? No, maybe should, you I should don't. just say that while I'm still scrolling it down, and I should just remain unmuted and just be quiet. And then, that's but then it's I, but then it's going to be awkward because if you forget <laughs> to unmute your mic when it's time to say this, I'm Amy with an I. It's then just, I don't. And what if I forget my name? Oh my god, I've, I've forgotten done my before. name before. I've said I was yeah. Amy with a Y once, which I'm not. Mm -hmm. I said I was Amy with an I before. I don't I understand. I forget who we are. It's... it's really sad. Do you think podcasting has caused that? Or do you think we were like that before podcasting? I'm pretty sure it's just like putting a focus on what was already there. Good point. Solid point. I don't point. think we were ever like super fully functional there. human beings. Most um, likely not. So yeah, welcome back to Secular hey. Soup on camera. If you are listening and not seeing, uh, this is the, I think, second time now we've done mm. live streaming for the patrons first. So patrons are getting to watch this as it the happens. the first one for patrons only. But yes. the second time we did the live stream. The second we time practiced. we recorded on yes. video. Yes. yes. So yeah, we've been we did a practice one. We did the the do it. We'll do, we'll do a called do over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're like fuck it we'll the, do it live no like yeah, when you where flip we, the piano you're like fuck mm -hmm. it yeah where we just <laughs> talked for it. 10 minutes before we were actually recording anything because we forgot and by we i mean is... amy with an eye so <laughs> working on it <laughs> learning so yeah if you become a patron you can watch our show as it happens <laughs> on video and watch the mistakes we make it's as we very try to excited. It Although out. they're going to hear all of this because I did not True. read it down. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's it'll, it makes it exciting. Fine. It's fine. But if you if you <laughs> become a patron and want to see it, you can see the insane amount of makeup I put on my face on a Sunday night, which means I'm just going to have to wash little. it right back off. I have very little. I have like oof. I did three shades of eyeshadow. It looks great. Isn't it cool? I just, yeah, I, I never like wear that. different colors. So I'm like, I'm just going to sit here and paint my face like an old timey whore. Just, and just go crazy with the colors. And Might so. as well. Yeah. And then I got my matching peacock uh, scarf here because my receding hairline is really starting to bother the shit out of me. So I just, really, this is my look now. Your receding is hairline is really coming in yeah. nicely. This is, this is me now. I'm just going to just gonna wear a scarf. I'm well, it's just getting so long. So I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Do I do it like mm -hmm. down? Do I flip it yeah. over? I don't even know what to do. It's getting I've so long. I've just got a huge knot behind here. So that's and I gave myself a blowout head. today. So it feels great. That's, so. don't, tell, don't tell people that. That's disgusting. <laughs> Oh my God. It's very, I'm very bendy. <laughs> so we were going to talk about, we actually thought of a topic. Uh, we did. Kind of. And that topic is the whole ethos right now of nobody wants to work anymore. Yeah. Back in my day, people were nobody can't get these goddamn millennials to fucking it's, work. First of all, millennials are in their 40s and 30s. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> second of all, this is, those are the, those are the other, uh -huh. those are the zoomers, right? The zoomers. Um, but also 
no one wants to work for you, sir. Like, mm-hmm. No one wants to work for you. Yeah. First of all, whoever wanted to work to begin work. with, nobody fucking wants to work. Yeah, you want, you work. want to do something that occupies your time. No. Oh, you just that you enjoy paid. and you want to get paid. But all like, I want is to get paid. Like everything I do during the day from like 7 a.m. to 3:30 mm-hmm. when I clock out of work, I don't want to do. I don't want to yeah. do any every meeting with people. I don't want to get all of the reply all emails. I really don't want those. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be in four different team chats where everybody says happy fry yay because it makes me <laughs> want to kick somebody. I don't want to do any of that. Oh my God. I see. I'm lucky. I want to mute all of them. I want to mute everything. I'm very lucky in that I do really like what I do, but I don't have coworkers. I just have my mom. Yeah. And I, I have, what's I she going to do? She's not going to fire me. So I, I order Uber Eats because I am a fussy bitch mm-hmm. and I sit there in my meeting on speakerphone on my laptop and it's just playing and I'm sitting at the coffee table eating just saying, you fucking idiots, <laughs> just fucking bunch of fucking idiots. Cause they have the same questions every day. Mm-hmm. And see, I do that with the customers that come in. <laughs> I just, I it's hear them. I hear them walk around the store and then I judge them in my mind <laughs> so harshly. Like I was telling someone last night, I j- I'll hear people go around the store and say things like, oh, this is just the most darling thing. Oh, my <laughs> God. Come look at this. Judy, come look at this. It's darling. Bring and Linda, just, too. J- Linda, Judy. In my head, I'm like, I fucking hate your entire group of friends. I can tell right now. Is Barb here, too? Is Barb with not. you, Judy? Yes. Is she? Oh, my God. Oh. Karen's here. Karen would get such a kick out of this thing. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. Oh my Judy, god, send Judy. it to send it, send it to Karen. She's gonna send love it. Send it to it. me She's too. Gonna, I'm gonna oh, love it. So oh my god. Funny. So yeah, I do that all day. I just sit and make fun of those people inside my head. And yeah. then I I have to wear a mask all day because fucking America and COVID and my town is completely full in the hospital of COVID people. So yeah. Fortunately, my mom and I have now learned to communicate just through eye rolls because we can't it's hard to hear each other with the masks and it's hard to make really extreme facial expressions at each other quietly. So now we have really extreme eye roll. Like we just, people come in and we just, we have certain customers that we really fucking hate that love to come in every week. And it's just like every week. Oh yeah. Oh, once or twice a week. I don't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I, Once I don't even or twice. A I don't even week. get my mail every week. Like, there's nothing mm-hmm. I do consistently. We're that delightful, I guess, that people want to see us that much. No. The more likely answer is they're hoarders and they have a compulsion to get more things all the time. But anyway, uh, but yeah, most if you ask any random person working retail if they want to be at work and they tell you, yes, I love it. They're lying. And you know what? I didn't like working when I was a teenager either. Like working Uh -uh. retail fucking sucks. And And people during COVID, they've Mm -hmm. been put at risk. And they've been worked to death. Worked to death, work random hours. They've been put in unhealthy Mm -hmm. situations Yeah, and they're not paid enough. No, absolutely not. And they haven't been paid enough for some time. I don't so, blame them for walking out because they can not. get a call center job and mm-hmm. make, you know, at least as much, probably more yeah. from I'm home. Kind of, I'm kind of enjoying watching capitalism implode on I, itself I a little bit. It. Like I so think I, it's, I, I enjoy going to the store and seeing that not everything is stocked and that other people are going, oh my God, I can't get my exact kind of thing that I need and just freaking the fuck out. It's just funny. Um, It's funny watching... Someone say, or people say that Christmas isn't going to work because the the uh-huh. system of delivery is going to be shut down. It's like, mm-hmm. I thought Christmas was all about Jesus. Like, No, no, it's about mm-hmm. presents. I think we all know yeah. what the real meaning of Christmas is. And it's fucking presents from Amazon that I don't have to sit and pick out forever. And I just... mean, I just order everything from Amazon. Yeah. I And I have the kids this year, which means I have to spend money. Oh, God. I, I love thought... the Christmas that I don't have them because then I'm like, it's the dad's. Yeah, perfect. Daddy. I haven't even started thinking about what to get my kids for Christmas. I, I don't know. know. Although I bought the older one. I usually one. get a, like a game for everybody. The older one, I just had to buy him an insanely expensive part for his computer. So that was his early Christmas present. Oh, so sure. he's just like, I'm like, you're not getting. 
But yeah, my point is people are lying if they are saying that there was some wonderful time way back when, when everybody loved working just for the, well, it's just not they, they had the work it, ethic. It's they had no choice. Right. That's so the, the problem is, I watched this whole Trevor Noah thing on it yesterday, mm -hmm. and he was talking about, there's a couple things that kind of brought this to a head. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that we've been home for a year. Mm -hmm. So people realize that we can work from our homes. There's yep. options, yep. not for retail, but you can do something for a lot home. of jobs. Yeah. For a lot of jobs, you can work from your home. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of made family and time with them more important. It kind mm -hmm. of put it more in focus. And there's just, and um, you, we've learned that we the can health, live with less. Yeah. And there's the health scare. Like mm -hmm. people realize that they're putting themselves in danger and you see the cost benefit analysis. And if there's COVID there, it's a mm -hmm. little too high on the cost side. Yeah. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. And, and so I, I like, I, for me, like if I go back to the office, I might quit. Mm -hmm. I might like, I might. Yeah. Well, and I think it's, my mom had mentioned this the other day that people, I think we did spend a whole year figuring out we can do with a lot less, you know, yep. you without going to target constantly. Oh, I, I saved a, a shitload of, of money and I didn't need half the shit yeah. I was buying anyway. Exactly. And you like, you really can do. And honestly, last year was probably my son's favorite time of being <laughs> my child because I was home with him all the time. And usually See, I was working constantly. So people are figuring out that your time I mean, is I still valuable. worked constantly, but I worked yeah. constantly for my living room. See, so I got lucky and didn't, was able to take that time off. Yeah. But I just, I, I'm glad that people are finally waking up to the fact that they don't have to put up with this fucking bullshit. Exactly. And I'm sick of listening to people feel entitled to other people's labor, which is yeah. basically what it is. I want my cheeseburger at McDonald's and I want it done right. And therefore some <sighs> other person needs to get their ass to McDonald's to make my cheeseburger. Well, I am big on ordering food though. Like I'm I mean, a big fan, but I always tip. Who I tip, isn't? I tip a lot. I order my groceries. I order my food. Yeah. I order, you know, my presents for Christmas. Right. But I, I, I tip. I try to tip. And you appreciate well. what those people are doing. Super appreciate like, it. Yeah, and you don't. If it came down to it, I would also do that. Yeah. Like, like yeah. honestly, we did. Like during the pandemic, mm -hmm. we were delivering with a, a food delivery company on yeah. like days off and stuff. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Well, and you do what you have to do. Yeah. I, I mean. I just, I hate the idea of believing that other people, not you, but other people should have to go and do all of these service jobs. Because you want to stay. Because safe. you want them done. Because you, you want things. Yeah. You don't you, want to leave your house because there's a pandemic, but everybody right. else. Yeah. But they should do it. And the, like, I got unemployment and it was fucking great. For like and $9 an hour, $10 an hour. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah, no. And it's that's not worth it for these for That's other the thing. People. Like if you if you pay enough, you'll get people oh, to work absolutely. there. If I'm, you if the minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah. And then so jobs like like mine and other jobs where they're like, wait, if everybody if the base pays fifteen dollars an hour, is our wage gonna go up? I'm like, that's what it, should happen. Yeah, that's supposed to happen. That's what should happen because mm -hmm. if, if I could make the same amount going to work at a at grocery store mm -hmm. for less stress and less Reply alls, I will. Well, and isn't this the whole free market thing that conservatives love? This is what the market yeah, does. So. Isn't this what bootstraps are made of? Right. I mean, I don't know what bootstraps are made of. If you, I guess it depends on the boots. It's all about competition, and yeah. and unfortunately, it's the the corporate CEOs that now have to do the competing to see. Maybe who's they should the just cut back on one of their houses. Maybe. I mean, they I should really cut back on, you know, avocado toast. If, if they drank less lattes, like if they just skipped Starbucks once a week, I yeah. think they'd be okay. Yeah. No, there is no, y you can absolutely find workers if you pay them enough money. You yeah. just need to pay them enough money. And as a small business owner, I get it. I get that small business owners. It's hard. Can't. It's very hard. And they just cannot do that. Like we choose to work harder because we don't want to hire somebody and pay them. That means we work harder. So we do that because mm -hmm. we're the ones that own it. We don't sit and bitch that I mean, we you can't bitch find. All the time, uh, well, but not any more. On my usual. own behalf. Yes. yes I don't yes. bitch about other people not wanting to come and work for me for free. Right. Like if, if I wanted to hire somebody, I would want to pay them a decent wage. If I Absolutely. can't do that, then. Or I then don't... there's people that are like, 
I want a mom who just needs like a side hug, like a like just a little job mm-hmm. that doesn't need like she's the second income in the house. It's like okay, so you want to pay someone that doesn't need the income, and you want to pay them seventy cents on the dollar to do it, yeah. and not pay them well. And yeah, I yeah, it's we've gross. spent so much time in America just shitting on unions and teaching we an entire unions. generation of people that unions are bad. Like if you work at any Walmart or Target or any, you're going to go through a oh, yeah. union training. You do. You absolutely do. And they also show you how to sign up for welfare. Mm-hmm. Just saying there is a whole video on how to yeah. sign up for welfare. Yeah. Because in the training session at Walmart, if you want to get mad about subsidizing people, we subsidize Walmart. They don't pay enough. And therefore we pay for people to be on public assistance. Yeah. I, I looked enough. at a job at Walmart when I first, you know, got divorced mm-hmm. and they were going to pay me $11 an hour to start. And it was 36 hours a week. I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah. I absolutely cannot do that. No. And 36 hours just to screw you enough to not physical. get health care. It's phys- yeah. It would be a physical job. I'm like, which would be great. Cause I would be, you know, in mm-hmm. better shape, but I can't do that. Retail jobs are fucking demanding. I mean, yeah. it's, I, even just what I do, I don't sit down the entire day. Like I realize at the end of the day, I come home and I'm like, shit, I, I literally, I sit down to pee mm-hmm. and that is it. I don't sit just, for like, the take rest your time. of the day. You're like, I'm Pretty here much, for I'm a like, minute. I'm going to have a luxurious pee right now. Um, so I used to work at, yeah. um, I used to work at Six Flags mm-hmm. um, back when I was a teenager. And it's, it was like walking, lots of walking, lots of mm-hmm. standing. Cause I did retail at Six Flags once. Right. So I walked to my station mm-hmm. and then I stood and then I was there and then I had to stand, you know, we had like bar height benches, like stools, mm-hmm. but we couldn't sit on them if there were people nearby. Cause we needed to be like hustling to get people to come. And, and yeah. yeah. So I used to sneak across the street on my breaks and go to the old timey portrait studio Ooh, and I there were like, those. there was this curtain and I would go sit behind the curtain on a little stool that was hidden back there <laughs> and just sit under the fan because it was Six Flags in Texas and I was so hot. Yeah. And so it was just like, because <sighs> I was just sweat, just oh sweating. My, and I, my whole break, my whole 15 minute mm-hmm. break was just sitting there under the fan. And then I would come back out and I was refreshed. Yeah. I, <laughs> and I think I was making, I think it was like 7.45 an hour at that time. Maybe yep. eight twenty five. It might might have been eight twenty five to stand in the sun in Texas for an eight hour shift. But you wanted to do that job because you understood that being an American <laughs> is all about working hard and clawing <laughs> your way up to the top, and that's just what we do. They in came America. to the art class and they mm-hmm. told us that it was going to be fun. We got free passes. Mm-hmm. My employee badge got me in the park all the time, but after being all over it all the time, I didn't want to be in the park. Yeah, I can imagine. So- I, my first job was at a restaurant and I'm like, Ooh, I lo- I can eat restaurant food. Cause you know, growing up, we didn't get yeah. tons of, re- Oh my God. I hate the smell of restaurant food now. I can't, there's certain types of like, yeah, very specific types of restaurants that are just like the kind I worked in. And I will go in and just feel nauseous cause I, I can't, like, I, I, can't. I can't, I get it. so fucking sick of it. And I, guess why I did that job? Cause I was a teenager who wanted money you to have a car who wanted to go do fun yeah. things and like that's what motivates people. So yeah, I you... needed money to be able to buy gas for mm-hmm. the van that I was hand me downed. Yeah. So. I mean you you can't expect people to keep providing endless labor for you when it's just not mm-hmm. worth it to them at the end of the day. And we've gotten to the point where it's just not worth it to them at the end of the day. So you know what CEOs fucking suck it up yeah. and pay well, more. You can So there's to. companies like Nike and um, Bumble and a couple other com- companies mm-hmm. that have, they've raised their wages a little bit and they gave employees an entire week off, which mm-hmm. is, it's awesome. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. If my company sent an email out saying, Hey, you guys get the next week off for, for like paid, mm-hmm. that would be great. Cause be huge. I, I haven't had a week off of work. I mean, I had, oh God, I, know. I had some time off between jobs and I was really stressed out about it because I wasn't getting paid for it. Mm-hmm. Um, that was unemployment time. Yeah. It was a whole thing. I put in my notice and then they kept bumping my start date three mm-hmm. times until I had five weeks without pay. So it was bad. So, um, but until before that, I was working, you know, 15 hour days, 12, 15 hour days. And then now I'm working, you know, constantly. So it's not, there's not a break. There's never yeah. a break. And we don't, I so, think 
just like most Americans, we don't fucking get vacations. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, I take a day off in the middle of the week and like, I'll take off like a Tuesday. It feels luxurious. And I just lay there. I'm like, I have so much Mm -hmm. stuff to do, but I just need a break. And then I've used all my vacation hours at this, or all my paid, my paid time off hours at this point, almost because I'm just taking like random days off here and there since July. Cause I just, yeah. I need a break. Like I'm I supposed need supposed to be a break. on Tuesday. I'm supposed to be going down to the cities with my mom to go buy stuff. And I'm, I was thinking about it today and I'm like, I just need a day you to a lay day in bed and do nothing. Like, but yeah. I still, even if I, I decided I'm not going to go with her Tuesday, I'm going to stay home. But I, even then I still have all kinds of shit that needs to get done. And especially since yeah. my kids are home all the time because of homeschooling, it like I'm going to spend time with them and Ugh, try to be yeah. a good mom. And I'll feel like I need to cook something and we'll have to get the groceries taken care of. And I, there's all this shit to do. And I yeah. just want to lay in bed and do nothing. That is the bonus to working from home is I can mm-hmm. order groceries on my phone. Yeah. And then they just come to the door and I just bring them in. And nice. then I just can put them away at whatever point. Like I put away the fridge stuff right away and then I can just put away the pantry stuff whenever. Yeah. Like that I've is been, a nice thing. It's I've been doing nice. just the, I've been trying to do like a weekly thing where I'm just going to make a weekly menu ahead of time. Just go week by week. I'm not going to think about, cause my husband will like go to Costco and oh, just yeah. be like, we'll eat this one night. We'll eat that one night. And we'll eat this, but it's enough for like 35 nights and it just all ends yeah, up going bad. And we don't, it's pointless. So I'm like, if, and then every single night we're both tired. Nobody wants to cook and we so don't eat it anyway. Faster plans. Like yes. My go-to is fried rice. Mm-hmm. It is the easiest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. So you just make the rice in the Instapot ahead of time, put it in the mm-hmm. fridge in a bowl that's like lightly covered mm-hmm. and then it just dries out and then you can just use it whenever. Just that's a good idea. We, well, the my oldest thing in the world. has taken to making chili, which he actually. Chili is delicious. Does he put beans in it? Yep. Good. Yeah. I mean, most te- half the Texans will disagree with you that mm-hmm. beans don't belong in chili, but I think beans belong in everything. Is it really chili if there's no beans in it? I I do not. I will I not mean... get in that fight again. <laughs> okay. But like the... I I love beans and everything. Like beans are a mm-hmm. staple in my diet. I, I love thought beans. beans were just like a part of chili. I guess I, don't. I think so. I'm in Minnesota. We really have no claim. I think chili so. Like, but so many people are like, I'm making chili, the real chili, without beans. I'm like, okay, whatever. Ooh, that makes zero sense. No. All right. Chili, I'm, I've been trying to find. Isn't more that things. just beef soup? Like, I, yeah, that's just beef and tomato sauce. Yeah. That's five five gross. alarm chili with no beans. I'm like, okay, Bruce. Nobody right. wants to eat that. Yeah. That's cute. I've been trying to find more stuff that my kids can make or help make so that, you know, when we get home, it's just kind of done. Because as much as I think I'm going to do shit when I get home, I'm not. I'm I'm so tired. I get home and I'm just like, my brain shuts off. I'm done. I can't do anything. The other thing that I've started that I like doing is making like a lot of cookie dough and Mm -hmm. then putting it in the fridge and then making small batches of cookies every now and then. I bought a big tub I've of been eating Old a House lot of dough. Today. It's the I've, same thing. It's the same and company. yeah, I just I made like twelve cookies the other day, yeah. and then I take a few spoonfuls of the dough and eat that, I and then I make some more going. cookies later. It, it's great. It's I have oatmeal cookies in a container right now, mm-hmm. and I took them to my friend's house because we had a hot like she has a hot tub, and so we had a hot girl hot tub night. Why don't I have any friends with hot tubs? God I, damn it! I need better friends. Come to Texas, <sighs> and um, so oh. I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> it's a come for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I brought cookies over and everybody's just like, okay, I have like one cookie or two cookies. So I have this whole thing of cookies. So mm-hmm. all day I'm sitting there on the coffee table. I'm just like eating cookies. <laughs> Eat a cookie. Nice. It's like, what'd you have for breakfast? I had three cookies. It's kind of like me with popcorners at the moment. Oh, I love popcorn. Still can't stop eating the popcorners. They're just so fucking good. Popcorners? Popcorners, yes. What is that? What? I haven't talked with you about popcorners and my obsession with them. No. Oh, God. I've been eating. I've had like a two bag a day habit for months. They're (laughs) they're like, it's like a chip, almost like a rice cake chip, but it's made out of like pressed popcorn somehow. But they make this kettle corn flavor that is just the right amount of sweet and salty and crunch. Is it P-O-P-P-E-D? No, it's pop, okay. P-O-P, pop corners, just like I've the word corner, 
And they come in different flavors, but the red bag, which is the kettle corn, is the only good one. And I will buy eight bags at a time and put them oh in gosh. the closet so that I eat them in the morning when I get up. I eat them before I go to bed. I eat them during the day for lunch. Like, I, <laughs> I can't stop, fuck, which is probably why I've gained, like, 35 pounds. <laughs> But I just can't. It's like it's like when I was pregnant, and I just I need the popcorners all the all of my husband's just like you need to check yourself in somewhere. The kids are you got to stop buying these, mom. Oh my god, like, no. you eat too many, and I'm like I need them. I can't help it. Like I'm sorry. I have to get a lot at a time because what if I don't go back to the grocery store for a few days and then I find myself at home with no popcorners? I that was, would be a crisis. I was at the. I was at the liquor store the other day, you know, re-upping. Yeah. And um, I saw there was a different flavor of dots here now. Yes, they make new, fl they make like a honey mustard, but I don't want to try it. That's the one. Is I want to try good? that one. I haven't tried it. I, I saw having, it and I was like. I'm having hey. buyer's remorse for not grabbing it because it was right in the mm. checkout, but it was a little yeah. bag so I could yeah. just get a taster. Because the one I have is like the Southwestern, the red one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was good. That's the normal one. Yeah. It was delicious. The texture yeah, they're great. of them, I don't mm -hmm. understand what's different about them, but they are just different textures. They've, they've anything, just got like a really good buttery Anything coating. I've ever tried that is different than anything I've ever tried. Dots are amazing. They're better. Yeah. And the only place we can get them here, no, I saw them at the grocery store actually, but they're cheaper at the liquor store, which is weird. Okay. So yeah. they're expensive. I mean. They're cheaper at the liquor store by like a, like 50 cents or oh. something. So. But yeah, if I, I'm already there, you know, spending like $70, I'm going to grab a bag of tops. I know every store in town that carries popcorn. I do, yeah. In, in the flavor popcorn. that I like. I'm going to um, look that up. Target and Walmart both have them. Okay. Neither of the grocery stores do. Uh, Costco occasionally has a gigantic bag of them, which is amazing. Okay, Only... I've never seen these in the store, but they're at Walmart. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. You I can have, get them okay. at... They look kind of like those when they tried to get like those um, rice cake chips. Yeah, they're like that. They're like similar texture. So the ones I like are the, the so poppables. Mm -hmm. I like the poppables. I think those are fluffier. These are crunchy. Well, you get those a really good crunch. Those are yeah. like a giant rice or a Chex Mix thing. Yeah. No, these are, oh God. But I don't really, you gotta try I like them. chips. Um, I like chips in nacho form. That's I mean, I do way. too. Nacho, I'm telling you, you try the red bag of popcorners and see if you're out hustling on the street to get more like I am because the, <laughs> no. the gas station near my house, there's a gas station that's closest to where I live. because I don't like country. kettle corn. I think I'd probably oh. get the white cheddar. I'm not well, a kettle corn That's what My younger person. son prefers the white cheddar flavor. They're also sea salt. Sea salt is boring. It's just a Probably. rice cake. It's just salt. It's just a rice cake made out of popcorn instead of rice. I mean, okay. No, I I can't I can't quit them. I keep thinking like I am I'm like I don't need well, I, them. As, I know we were talking about like back. employment stuff, but did you mm -hmm. see that stuff in Texas about this the teacher in the school district that was asking if we share books on the Holocaust that we need to have an opposing? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's it. My... DFW area. Oh my god, yes, I heard about that. You know, just in case someone wants to think about what it was, you know, the mm -hmm. other side of the Holocaust. Yes, like, yeah. We've had our I think so I told you Are you pro concentration camps? I mean, Karen? I'm Yes, I'm pro I'm, a sh I'm assuming the teacher's name was Karen. Probably. Yeah. I mean, well, it seemed like the teacher though was it the was one the that teacher. was It was the teacher. The teacher yeah. I thought in uh, she was in um South Lake. Um, it wasn't. City. Didn't she like ask the principal though? Like, what am I supposed to do? And the principal's like, you're supposed to teach both sides. And she was like, what? And she's like, what if it's the Holocaust or something? And he's like, yeah, Look. gotta have both sides. Like, nope. what is the other side of that? There's an event that happened that is. Demonstrably, Demonstrably real. bad. We and know bad. it happened. Like this is bad. Well, and, no. and that it's bad. There are people that still deny the Holocaust. There are, but there are people. I who think, think they the need Earth to wait. Flat. They need to wait until all the survivors die. Oh my god. We've talked about this. Like wait until all the survivors mm -hmm. die before you're like that didn't happen. It's like, dude, he lived through it. He's mm -hmm. right here. He's got yeah. this book tattooed on his arm. Yeah. <laughs> How do you not wait a minute then deny? I don't understand. We have 
our local school board's been acting up lately. And I think I told you last time that one of the dipshits, one of our local dipshits, showed up last time with a paper bag over his head. Oh, yeah. You sent a picture to me. He He did it again this week. What point is that supposed to make? I'm sitting at home watching the school board live stream like it's a football game. So stupid. I don't watch football. So I'm like on the couch watching this with my 11 year old who's playing games on his phone and i'm just screaming at the tv yeah fucking idiot you fuck you stupid fucking fucker lying god damn it and he's just kind of shouting out yeah you know just to pump me up every once in a while but no that dumb fucker showed up with i don't know if it was a new bag or the same bag i have no idea holes i would hope it would be the same bag i hope he's keeping the same one and recycling Mm -hmm. um he goes in and just acts like there's not a bag on his head and just starts talking and everybody pretends like it's not happening. It's the weirdest shit. But then there's this other dude who has also been to multiple meetings who says he is a nurse. Oh, sure and he, you are. he gets up there and he starts spouting Bible verses and saying that, you know, he's a nurse and the hospital that he works at has COVID patients, but they're all vaccinated. There are no unvaccinated COVID patients love, at the I hospital. I love the nurses at. that show up in the mom's group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They're like ev- we have an empty hospital here. It's like, what hospital are you at? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not you're not saying. Yeah, because it's a yep. lie. Well, and this dude even was like, I have I have worked on a 19 year old who had a reaction to the vaccine and almost maybe died. just just possibly all this fucking and then you know but masks. that doesn't mean everybody else doesn't take the vaccine. Well, and he said he's like you know masks don't work. It says so right on the box. Like I'm allergic to garlic. Does that mean Amy can't have garlic? Pretty much, yeah. Anyway, so I mean, seriously, like it doesn't yeah. one reaction doesn't mm-hmm. mean I'm screaming at this guy on the TV, and everybody in my liberal group, we're all like in real time chatting about it. Yeah. And someone was like, We need to figure out who this fucker is because he if he works at a local hospital and he's out he doesn't spreading this shit. Oh no, no, no he does. No. I found him. He is an he RN. has a bag on his head, so he's not. No, no, no. This anything. is different. This is different than bag guy. Two totally separate people. Oh, bag well, guy. The, the bag, nurse should wear a bag, also. No, bag guy is a local. Uh, what does he do? I don't. Crazy he does, person. He does something dumb. Um, <laughs> something. Dumb. No, the nurse. Shows he goes up. around complaining that no one is no Pretty one wants much. jobs. Pretty much, yeah. The nurse has a full mullet and looks like Joe Dirt, basically. It's like Joe if Joe Dirt were a nurse is and had he, brown hair. Is he single? Pro I would think so because I can't see I'm, anybody fucking this dude. Um but I found asking. him on Facebook. I figured out who he was and I was so did. excited. It was like I had just struck gold. I'm like, Eureka, mm-hmm. you motherfucker. I found Eureka. you. So we actually somebody, one of the doctors in our liberal group emailed the uh head of the hospital that he works for in the next town over and was like you know i think you should know that your employee is out here spreading a bunch of bullshit and the hospital actually went on record in the local paper they didn't name him but they were like you know it's come to our attention that one of our employees has been to a school board meeting and has spread information and for the record we believe vaccines work we want we were encouraged you know like they just so he's actually a nurse Oh yeah, he's actually a nurse. I the reason I found him is because I rewound the live stream seven hundred times until I could hear them say his name. Then mm. I I put that into my Facebook search and I found an article from the uh, newspaper from when he got some dumb award at the hospital he worked at, some like fishing hero of the day or something stupid because he was like starting people's cars for them. I don't know, but he was in there and I'm like, oh oh, he does work there and he is so yeah. We we found that fucker, and I'm sure now he thinks he's. And I'm sure so they're not. Chris, they're not going to fire is, him. So not, there was. There's they probably PA. didn't even give him a talking to because the hospital probably there not. is terrible. But yeah, there is. There's a local PA that people were talking about that if you go to him, he's going to hi. He's he'll prescribe all of the oh god horse medicine, mm-hmm. the all of the off stuff, all of the, the holistic stuff. Justice. And so this lady in a mom's group was posting all these things that her husband, the PA, mm-hmm. will do. And then Q two days later, oh someone was God. like, how dare someone report this poor woman's <laughs> husband? And I was like, I almost did. I thought about it. I was like, yeah. I really should report this guy because he's a pu- he's a harm to public health. Yes. Like and, that and you can kill people. This yes. is life or death. And so I was thinking about it, but someone did. I was some yeah. some 
blessed soul. But then they they created this offshoot group and they were like, we found the mole and we got rid of her. <laughs> Anyone else who isn't one of these, like these, these uh, whistleblowers and these moles, join mm -hmm. us on this group. So I joined that group. Patriot Moms of Texas. <laughs> Oh, there man. are so many people going live in that group, and oh, are they selling stuff? Do they? Have oh my MLM? gosh! No, they are sitting no? on their patios and they are bawling their eyes out about their freedoms. <laughs> and then they show their pool, and they're all white, and they're though, like, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they're all and very is, white, and it is hilarious. I sit there and watch it for a minute. And I'm like, oh, this is so delicious. I was at Walmart. <laughs> And they're sitting on their patio oh and it's beautiful weather and their their patio is just decked out and then the camera turns because they're too much crying too much and they show their <laughs> their their landscape pool with the mm -hmm. waterfall and then they come back around they're like <laughs> my freedom my liberties are being attacked <laughs> my freedom oh it is my glorious freedom. I am loving that group so much but that's where I learned about let's get Brandon. What is that? I, I heard. Oh, I saw a reference to it, and I didn't. If you ever see it, they're saying, "What is it?" Fuck Joe Biden. Okay, it means fuck Joe Biden. So everybody's saying, you know, oh, Hurricane Brandon. <laughs> Even Brandon's attacking Florida. You know, so yeah, it's it's fuck Joe Biden. It means fuck okay. Joe Biden. That's very clever. I mean, Let's conservatives are nothing if not funny and clever. Well, so. what happened was there was a NASCAR race. You mm -hmm. know, of course which is there our, was our people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically this, the crowd was chanting, fuck Joe Biden and it was live. And so the reporter was like, the guy was like, do you hear what they're saying? The, the driver <laughs> yeah. was like, do you hear what they're saying? And she was like, they're saying, let's go Brandon. Cause his name was Brandon. Oh. And so it became, let's go Brandon. I see. That's... So if you see hats mm -hmm. or shirts, they're not your friends. We have a, uh, <laughs> So our high school, there was a political cartoon that made the national news uh, with a horribly caricatured picture of our high school principal with her actual name, like on a little name tag. So you knew it was supposed to be her. Yikes. And another character in this comic that was clearly supposed to be like a non-binary person with you know, spiked pink hair and a t-shirt with a power fist on. And there was a garbage can in the background with a king and homecoming king and queen crowns in the garbage because it was all about how we're throwing away our traditions because our school decided to get rid of homecoming king and queen and then change their fucking minds because everybody lost their shit. But like, it was the meanest. You just look at it and it's just, it was just a mean nasty cruel cartoon and i get that yeah. political cartoons are about but that not for a high school principal. but not for a high school principal for people like in power public figures yes, yes. public figures public that figures is what it's belong for. to the public high school people in power people who make decisions that actually yeah. affect the country exactly not like it's that is a whole punching down thing yes. i don't think that's okay because these are literally people that are mm -hmm. educating your children like back off they're off limits unless they're doing yeah. something incredibly shitty yeah like we protested a, a a principal years and years and years ago because he was straight up like praying mm -hmm. on the school grounds with the with the students in his like on his days like on his school days like you can't even protesting is fine. I think it's fine to protest. Well, yes, we didn't make a satirical cartoon. But like of him. a really mean, nationally syndicated, yeah, that's not thing. Good. And now there's a group that is making T-shirts with the cartoon on it, so that I'm you sure can order are. them. And we keep finding these Instagram group or pages that pop up for the purpose of ordering these shirts, and then we all go and report them a hundred times, and then another one. It's like playing whack a mole on Instagram, but like. Jeez. This group that I'm in, they were all laughing about it. Oh, it's hilarious. And I'm just, I had to go in and be like, you guys are disgusting. Really. This is not hilarious. This yeah. is not funny. This is not, it's rude. Like, I thought we were supposed to be for all the kids. Because this group, this other horrible group, claims oh. to be for all the kids in the county when really it's just for the anti-masker kids. Um, but they like to pretend like they're this really inclusive parent group. 
Sure. So, the, so they can't kick me out because I've made sure not to be super mean. I just see that's I'm laying real low, mm -hmm. real low. In like the... you, they have no reason if they kick me out, they're gonna look like hypocrites because I don't exactly. go in there and sit, call them names. I'm taking I just... a picture of us talking. Okay, well, you know, you know, that's good. That's good PR. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah, why you're looking it's... at me. You're like, why are you? I'm like, why are you? Phone? Why are you holding your phone? I just assumed you were live chatting with somebody else while I was talking because that's what I, you I'm always do when we're recording. Trying to get another co-host, you know. I know. I, that's, I mean, I'm just smart enough to keep my phone down here where you can't see it, but I have well, no, I was taking a five vocals now, so. Yeah, yeah. Five oh my god, Aaron just texted me, I apologize for my lack of a hot tub. <laughs> of a hot tub? Yes. Is she she's, watching? She's one of my local friends who is watching because she's a patron. She was at my house last <laughs> night, so she heard all the stories I just told you. Sorry, Aaron. Yeah, she's Aaron. New friends. Get a fucking hot tub. You'd be a better friend if you had one. I mean, I get that my house is probably this big enough to have one. You and probably I, should have I a pool I should with be the friend tub. with the hot tub, but... I'm not going to get, although, oh, God damn it. I would love one so much, especially in the winter. Mm -hmm. It's almost winter. I, I know it is. I can't. I'm falling I'm very apart. excited. I'm falling although, apart. so we talked about perimenopause last week. Yeah. Um, I, and last That's night wonderful. I I kept, I was like so hot. And so I turned the AC down to 64. The gentleman caller, he, wokes, he wakes up and he's like, you're killing me. You're freezing me to death. I can't live in these conditions. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God very dramatic yeah Aaron <laughs> fun fact about Aaron as I was watching the school board meeting <laughs> like it was a football game she was at the school board meeting yikes and got did up she, to talk did she get bad guy's number for me uh like, maybe she might have she's you know hooking. she's pretty cool so I don't know she's you go up to him you're like nice eye holes you got there I was like at home you cut them out yourself yeah I was at home cheering <laughs> for her I know she couldn't hear me, but I'm like, yes, go, Aaron. Like, I, I it's weird because I'm watching it and I see people I know in the room and I know who's right. going to talk. And it's like my own little private political game. You're like, that I can. come on. And I was watching the bitches sitting behind her that were just, one of them took Making her mask off this. and was like, someone try to make me pull this mask up. I'd like to see it come and try it. And just. I hate that at the grocery store when it's like hanging under her chin. I'm like, yep. oh my God, just don't wear it. Yeah. Just don't wear it. Why do you have it on? I I mean, I'm kind of, so in Texas, I'm kind of getting to the point where I don't wear a mask a lot of the time because literally no one is. Mm -hmm. And it's to protect other people. And I yeah. no longer give a fuck about them. Like yeah. I'm at the point where I'm just like, fine, die. Mm -hmm. I'm vaccinated. Are you? No, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, like my kids get tested for COVID like every other week because they go to public school. Mm -hmm. Um, so bring it, like, yeah, my I, one of us will be intubated and it's not me. <laughs> so, yeah, I I'm really I hate the it's I can't breathe in the mask. I can try being intubated. Aww. Have, you, have Aww, you seen sweetie. what that's like? Uh, hmm. No, you, my, you once, want a permanent scar right here, right here. Once my youngest is vaccinated, I will feel so much my, better. Me too. Oh me too. my god! And I, can't, I, and I can't come fast enough. So she has been exposed to it. My daughter has been. I thought she had it. At no one point. No, oh, she no, no. didn't. That's the thing. So her brothers and her dad all had it over Christmas. They were all super oh, but sick. But she didn't. She didn't. She's eleven. Wow. Um, she, her best friend that she spent the whole last weekend with because they had a five day weekend last week. Mm -hmm just tested positive like the day after that she day after she was over there so they didn't come over for dinner at their normal date this week because she was getting tested for covid the next morning she tested negative again so i'm like does she have a natural immunity i don't know because she's been exposed to it in person first mm -hmm. like close contact at least two times i don't know and i don't know how the tests work as far as is do you have to have a certain viral load for it to pick up but you have well, it was or, they waited like a like two days before they tested her, so it would have been okay. long enough for it to have shown up because it's forty eight hours. I have no idea. I just um, all I know is I, don't, I know. don't trust anybody in this town, and I well, I just don't I care anymore. Feel like better. I assume these are all the people in my my work chat mm -hmm. saying fry yay. So <laughs> you know they are, I and it's know it's they the are. people in my shop Why? going this every is week. Dark. Lame. Every week. Why do they have to say that every week? Like, yes, I get it. It's Friday. I got paid mm -hmm. today. Cool. That's great. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. Like, let's just all be in the same mindset of ending this meeting, not replying all, and getting the fuck out of here. Like, do they 
also say someone who's opposed to the Mondays. Yes. Do you they say they hump do. day? Do they say you hump day? You know they do. You know they do. They send <laughs> oh like a cow meme in the group chat. Oh. And then it's the same team members in four different group chats. And it's good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh good my morning. God, I hate that. We're all in the same group chat. I saw you. I saw you, Karen. I saw you four times. There is just no need for that. It's so uncalled for. I'm like, I'm going to go make super strong tea. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pretend that I didn't see that four times. All so, I have to do is walk in. Very annoyed. Look at my mother and not say hi to her. And that's how I start I'm, every I'm work I'm so day. tempted. I want to text my boss and be like, can I leave <laughs> all of these team chats? Mm -hmm. That would drive me fucking bananas. I hate, especially. Do I have to go to the 9 a.m. meeting every day? The bullshit is, motivator, motivational speaking stuff too is I just, absolutely uh, do because uh, I do because of my position. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I low key hate all of y'all. So, mm -hmm. and the person that recruited me, that was my friend left. Oh. Um, the person, the team lead that helped recruit me left. So I have like, you're stuck there now with all the Karens. Yes. And the person that calls me crying, who's like, <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, Oh my god. Do you why ever did, why did I give you my number? Do you ever wonder like I like last night I had some friends over and I'm like, these are just the coolest yes. pe people can be so cool. Yes. And then there's this whole other large group of people that are just awful. I and don't why understand. are they like that? Why How can't they, they all the be same cool? BC. Right. Like I look like, around. Yes. Like, I look at Fry Yay Lady and then oh I look my at my God. amazing friends that were at like the hot tub night and mm -hmm. I'm like, they are not the same species. How is it possible? I don't like she comes in and tells everybody that, you know, tomorrow we all wear pink to work or something. I don't care. Uh, I work from home. Are you 14? Uh, we yeah, did that when we, I was in fifth grade. We literally work from home. I'm not going to take a picture with my mug wearing pink. That's not happening. Do you have the Ray Dunn mug? not turning mug? on my camera. No. How, how many Ray Dunn mugs do you own? Zero? Hmm. That's, I don't know what Ray not, Dunn is. You don't know what Ray Dunn is? Then you you really aren't a Karen and you should be proud of yourself. Okay. Um, Ray no, Dunn. I drink, I drink tea out of a cup that I infuses itself. So. Bougie. Very bougie. No, not really. I just got um, tired of the loose leaf tea inside <laughs> the bottom of my cup. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. Ray Dunn is a designer who's very hot in the Target mm -hmm. TJ Maxx world for writing what the thing is on it. Oh, so like, no. Like, you know. it says sugar. Yes. It says whiskey. Well, no, my, like the, my like the coffee like cup the glass will say whiskey says drink. on it. No, oh. like the glass will say drink and the bowl will say eat. And the. No, that's dumb. No, I don't like that. No, that my shit. coffee cup should say whiskey or tequila mm -hmm. or. Well, that's you know, just logistically correct. Right. Like if it's yep. after, if someone has said mm -hmm. good morning four times, I am thinking about the beer in my fridge and I'm like, mm -hmm. is it too early to like, yeah, I usually just make a really strong tea, like a super strong tea. And I just, I pray to mm -hmm. Odin because that's the God that I worship mm -hmm. that, um, I can make it through the day without finding where like this person lives. And mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a new coffee pot Taking this week, so that was a big deal. Got a <laughs> that's a big deal. I got a Mister Coffee. Gotta say, gotta mm -hmm. say, it was kind of a big deal. <laughs> uh, didn't get a Keurig. Got a got a Mister Coffee. Oh, with so a timer Keurig, on it. Keurig. So. I researched things before I bought my coffee maker that I lost in the divorce because I oh, actually yeah. don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. But um, I still wanted it for you know, of course, just to be petty. Reasons. Yeah, exactly. But um, so it was great. It was this big, great coffee maker. And I caught, I priced Keurig and I priced the Nestel and all mm -hmm. of her whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's just wasteful. Yeah, it's so much waste. Like and those, it's, pods, well, those little K cup things are just yeah, they're super terrible. wasteful. So then mm -hmm. you can buy the disposable ones and put your own stuff in it, but then it's mm -hmm. like so much work, and then you have to clean those cups, which are really hard to clean. Yeah. So I read reviews after reviews after reviews after reviews, and the, just going like the straight mm -hmm. coffee maker is probably better. Mm -hmm. I got in one that grinds beans. Oh my god! Like the fresh. You're because, so bougie. No, no, no. We buy Maxwell House <laughs> breakfast well, can, blend, which is delicious, with a coffee, you know, filter, a little paper coffee delicious. filter. You put two sometimes if you just pour the water in there. You set, you can set a timer yeah. for six a.m. 
you have coffee uh-huh. in the morning. Sometimes if you're unlucky, the filter got too wet and folded mm-hmm. down and now you have grounds. That's why you're in your entire pot. So are you are we going to lose viewers because I said it was too too wasteful? I I mean, I don't know. Do we have wasteful viewers? Probably. I've do met we, Rich. Do well, we I haven't s- met him. Suddenly care if people think we're offensive. Um, well, only if it's coffee related. If you're using a K a Keurig, you're probably being wasteful. You can be but wasteful. You this is America. You have so, the right to do it. You know what you're doing. The same you reason I got decision. I got a soda stream mm-hmm. during the pure, the pandemic to replace all of the cans of soda I was drinking mm-hmm. and the like felt like this splashy water, like seltzer water that I was drinking. Mm-hmm. But then I ran out of CO2. I don't want to go into the store and replace it all the time. So I stood back to buying cans of soda. That was our problem so. with the soda stream. We So I need to go yeah. replace. I have like three empty canisters. I just need to go replace them at Target. But it's then an, I'll be in a at Target. In the and then so at our Target, we bring them to customer service and they're like, okay, so they take them. And then they say, go get your own. Yep. It's in the back of the store, which means I'm yep. walking through Target. That is not a safe situation to be mm-hmm. in. Yeah, no. So I, I bought my I go through son. that dollar spot and I'm like, hey. I bought my younger son a really cool shirt from Target that said, go science. Nice. And, and I brought it. It's one of those like $5 t-shirts. And I brought it home and I just, I looked at it. And I'm like, he's going to outgrow this immediately. I need the bigger size. So I ordered the bigger size online so I could just pick it up on my way to work. But then I still had the smaller shirt and I'm too fucking lazy to go inside of Target to return it. So I just gave it to Erin, the aforementioned Erin, because her son's a little bit smaller than my son. That's funny. So now they can have matching t-shirts because I'm too lazy to go inside Target if I don't have do to. You, like, do you want to read the patrons? Oh, shit. Patreon. Did you pull them up ahead of time? You did not pull them up Fuck ahead of time. Fuck no, I didn't pull it up ahead of time. That <laughs> sure would have that would have required planning on my part. Forethought. Planning. And All the things I did and she was bitching about. Like I mentioned, like... you know, I just don't. The <laughs> brains, I can't. I've been stuff, things, brain, work, no. Um relationship manager they call it a relationship manager on patreon because they -hmm. think they're doing therapy or something i don't know um okay so if if you have never listened to us before or anything ever and have never heard of patreon welcome to your first podcast i hope you enjoyed it uh All of them are worse than us, so all of them just don't don't even start any other ones. Um, Honestly, like literally, don't bother. So yeah, you can go to Patreon.com/slash Secular Soup, and it turns out you can just give us money there. And there's like different levels that you can give us money at. It'll just take the money right out of your account every month, Mm -hmm. so you don't even have to think about it. It's just like an auto payment. It's amazing. It's like a car payment. It's mandatory. Yes, exactly. You have to just. It comes out before everything else, so think about and that when you're pledging thank you ahead of time i need a new mm-hmm. laptop just yeah just put, she really i'm does. also very sad and yeah single mom and need and her liquor i have to work with people that say fry i mean that makes me want to become a patron that's that's <laughs> just obnoxious i i was talking to gentleman caller this past friday because this is sunday we're doing this live on sunday mm-hmm. and i was like i'm like who, i wonder who's gonna say it and i'm like oh my god here it is here it comes <laughs> 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 okay, so it happens. I don't think actually I do think we have one new patron. But f- before I do the new patrons, I'm going to do the uh $6.66 a month patrons and mm-hmm. up because those ones get a shout out every week in theory when we're recording. So we're going to start recording every Sunday at 6 p.m. So Central. you should be you should be getting your weekly shout out. Yep. Assuming I remember to do it Patrons, every week. So we will be live every Sunday from 6 p.m. Central. Yes, just for you, just for your entertainment. Nobody else gets to see it for like two days. So who knows? Things might get crazy, you know? You, you never know. You have to sign up to find out. So our our Devil's Chili patrons, which is 666 a month or higher, are Don Ford, voice of fantasy and adventure, the aforementioned Aaron, uh Lois. A noble spirit and begins the smallest man, a perfectly cromulent statement. Renee, April, Paul, Sarah, Randall, Life in the Left Lane, Verlaine, Yesh, Natalie, 48th Favorite Rich, Wendy, oh. Nuggin, and Andy. 
Rich, what did you do? I don't know. He knows what he did, but I don't. Okay, fair enough. Um, fair enough. Let me fair find, enough. let's see, if I unclick these, then it should let me find the new patron. Can we talk about how Patreon is the worst website? Patreon is the worst fucking, you, for something that gets so much traction and, like, has so many people on it. Right? What, why can't they get their shit together? I really don't understand it. I don't even um, so yeah, here. Oh, there's a button that says new and I don't see any I don't see any new people. So if you signed up and Patreon lied to me, I apologize and we appreciate you. Um, we do. We always we love all our patrons. We do. I get excited we love every time all I get a little email. And then Rich. Yes, we love all of them equally except for Rich. So yeah, you have to be a patron and you have mm -hmm. to go to patreon.com in order to see the live stream because it's a it's a link that's only in Patreon. Because there's gotta be some bonus to being a patron right and I mean, we also have the first 10 minutes of content which was delightful oh yeah it is only for patrons you missed how to deal with your pendulant breasts and whether or not you can marry your cousin oh, yeah, spoiler, it, you can yeah you can so if you want to find out more about marrying your cousins or pendulous breasts or what was the other thing we talked about uh Corsets. About, rubber corsets. Rubber corsets. If you want to know if that's good for you or bad for you. Yeah, I will not tell. Then you're going to have to become a patron and watch the first 10 minutes of this show. So. Yeah, not telling. So should we take it out and I can go eat a massive bag of popcorners? Always. And, and watch some TV? Always. All, All right. right. It's been Bye. fun talking to you. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> go to work! Thanks to all of you motherfuckers who put up with the Amy's droning on week after week. If you enjoy their delightful bitchcraft, please follow them on all of the social medias and send them all of your money on Patreon or PayPal. You can find them on these platforms by using the Google machine. It's not hard. If you want to bitch with other fans about the show, join the Secret Soup Talk Facebook group. If you want to tell Amy and Amy to fuck off personally, you can send an email to secularsouppodcast at gmail.com, although it may go unanswered. Please rate and review the show on iTunes, Facebook, and wherever else you can review things like this. It will help spread the soup gospel far and wide. And hey, text someone right now. Tell your friends. As always, we'll leave you with the vocal stylings of Mr. Eli Bosnick. Secular soup greed. Soup is the ultimate virtue. It's delicious, nutritious, patriarchy smashing, racism fighting, warm and fuzzy, human affirming, fun having, anti theist, glitter throwing, tummy satisfying, pair of new shoes fulfilling, diversity seeking, happiness. Minestrone, beef and barley, chicken broth and split pea, gazpacho, tomato, clam chowder and potato, chicken noodle, beef noodle, egg drop and ramen cup, miso, gumbo, leek and foe. Grab a bowl and taste the magic. Slurp even this. <laughs>